What's up, yo? Welcome to Nuclear Esports. I'm your host, Byron Kent, and today we're introducing the Valorant scene for the first time. And we have the NA Challenger highlights for you. We also have the Call of Duty League season opener, which will begin today, and we'll have the highlights for the first two games today. We got some bands and we got some comebacks. But if you like what you see, like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. Also, make sure you follow us at all our social media handles at Nucleus underscore esports. Well, let's get into it. This past weekend, Valorant held the North American Challenger Tournament. Let's take a look at those highlights. BCJ spam shots will confirm. Crashy still holding the corner. And next set looking to retake this fight. Likely going to have to hit two elbow here. And there's plenty of wall they blocked on them yep. as well. That information will be pretty clear soon. As soon as they go to elbow, they can't even rush them. I mean, look at them. They're just going to go paranoid. They're both paranoid in there, but they can't use it straight away. And I mean, yeah, who's going to go down? Crash will be here to get the response in a one boost. So we've seen Crash for these before. The lineup is there. The clutch is confirmed. And once again, Crash. Site yet, but I mean, the Sage, she's all the way in, right? They fully committed. Right, so I think have never important frag there. That could have potentially been a hole in the defense, but Zom's and Sage searching now. Zom's will find Moose. Dre holding steady, finds Still. two more with that vandal. Chopping heads, that's a fourth. I wonder now whether or not uh, LG's gonna go for their own. about him at the beginning of the round, mm -hmm. getting deep all the way in. He's going to be the last one. site will have time for a plant but it's gonna be a one on three and you've got from the shadows available as well as blaze sword so even if he's able to secure this plant they're gonna be there really quickly hot on his heels trying to fight him to retake the site and that's why you say like chemicals is probably how this has gotta be clean it's just the way that second party of those tables is great something worth to die for chemicals in the beginning he was gonna get immediately created by uh shazam with that a three versus There's the dash to fly in. First one will be his, but it's not gonna be enough. Set 
Eagles will take the third back in the series, technically the fourth. It'll be a 3-1 victory for Sentinels. It's a crazy battle in how like definitely, definitely looking forward to what they got for the rest of this season, which will begin February 18th. Shouts out to Sinatra too for making it from the Overwatch League to the island. Those aren't the only dope highlights we had today. We had some Call of Duty League season open from today. Check it out. This lane, hold that angle. Surge, oh my God. Darcy makes it a 1v1. Surge opted to make the bomb. Move over towards A, and it's cost Octane his life. Now Looney in a one versus one against Shotzi. It's a straight gunfight in the middle of the map. They're gonna get it done in the park here. Sun goes through. Skulls managed to connect with the flash. Here we go. Looney. Big oh, no! No, 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 no! Oh my god! No! What a win from Shotzi! Ah, that stinks! It's traded. Octane wins his one, and Gunless can't quite finish it. Who? The final man, the final gunfight he picks up to to keep that pressure over towards A. Mooney's trying to get these trades, and right now maybe a bit of a contest, but Empire still in the hill, still in those power positions, trying to end the game. There's only two players left now for Seattle Surge. They've got to go, and they've got to go big. Gunless finds one. He's now bleeding out. He's got a lot of damage dealt shots here. But he comes from up high, and with that, Octane falls as well. It's a 3-1 win. Dallas turn it on it. And he can to try to stop it. The final five seconds now. Ten goes down. I don't Hard point for the time being, but once again, rotations, rotations, rotations. We have these in position for the win. Can they hold the line and pick up those final five seconds? That's all they need to do. Major Maniac tries to get involved, it's not going to be enough. And the LA Thieves, welcome to the COD League. The first map on the board. Thieves, they just got the hill surrounded. They got a man on globe. They got TJ pushed out to the bush. All the help that they could ever want and ever have. They're looking to put this game down and put this series down right here on this screen. I mean, our game field thieves called it. You gotta kill the confidence of the thieves early on. And that first hard point was the place to get it done. And now look at them. They are soaring right now. 26 and 13 TJs. And a great Call of Duty season opener. Stay tuned for the rest of this weekend's highlights on next week's episode. But we told you we had some comebacks. Who? From what eSport? Well, it's Dizzy from Apex. He's returning to the scene from a hiatus. Here's why. Can you tell me why you stopped playing Apex? Like, what changed your opinion about the game? I just stopped enjoying it. I, it's just the BR genre. It's just the BR genre in general. It just, it just, it's very exhausting. Sitting in a queue, landing, looting. You get loot, bad RNG. You die, you back in queue, waiting, looting again. It's just like, it's very repetitive and I feel like it's easy to burn out on, especially when you, if you're streaming at like eight plus hours a day, or like, like even like six plus. It just, yeah. I mean like, the game's not bad. This game's not bad. This game's good, right? It's definitely like one of the best, if not the best, like battle royale game to play. But like, you know, it's just exhausting. Great to see Dizzy back in the scene. But I told you, someone's going away. And that's the number one ranked Valorant player in Europe, Nisei. Riot Games will be banning him for 12 months from tournaments and events and all the Riot Games due to cheating allegations. Nisei has responded to these cheating allegations, but I doubt if Riot would ban anyone without any type of evidence. So, sorry Nisei. Well, y'all, that'll be all for this week. I'm your host, Byron Kent. This is Nuke Sports.